This man makes money by hunting rats. Two extra dollars for hitting a smart mouse. But it pissed off thousands of rats. The rats cornered him to the dead end. Then he slipped and fell into a large pickle jar downstairs. At the same time, the factory was closed and the pickle jar was sealed. Strangely enough, no one noticed that Herschel had fallen in. Herschel was just pickled in the pickle. Time passed 100 years. Two young boys stumbled into the abandoned factory and curiously opened the pickle jar. Then Herschel miraculously emerged from the pickle water and his appearance has not changed a bit. At this point, he felt as relaxed as if he had slept for 12 hours. Soon it was revealed that Herschel had been pickled for 100 years and was still alive. Scientists have explained that the old pickle will not deteriorate no matter how it is pickled. Such an outrageous reason has succeeded in convincing everyone. But Herschel was not happy because he learned from the doctor that his family is all dead. He was so angry that he punched the doctor straight in the face. Several people rushed to subdue him. It wasn't long before Herschel got the good news. He had a great grandson named Ben who is still alive. This great grandson is about the same age as him now. As soon as we saw their faces, we knew they were related. As soon as they met, they hugged each other with excitement. But as soon as they walked out of the hospital, Herschel was at a loss for words. He was overwhelmed by the tall buildings in front of him. Even a cat could make him feel hostile. Great grandson took Herschel home and introduced him to the technology of the age. The two of them talked about the changes of the times over the past hundred years. Ben then took out the family photo album. Herschel looked at his wife and missed her so much and asked Ben to take him to the cemetery to see. But as soon as he got to the cemetery, he was stunned. The once treasure land was now a garbage dump full of weeds. Even the sludge from the billboard fell on his wife's tombstone. Herschel was devastated by the sight. He asked Ben why he didn't come and clean it up more often. Ben had nothing to say. Just then, some workers came to replace the billboard. Herschel went to stop them, but to no avail. So he fought with the workers. The result was that Herschel and Ben went to jail. Ben spent all his savings to get them both out on bail. When he got home, Herschel got into an argument with his great grandson about his wife's grave. The two of them parted unhappily. Herschel decided to make pickles to make money and then buy a billboard. Although Herschel had the pickle skills from a century ago, but now he can't afford to buy any ingredients. How is he going to start making money? This man will now teach you how to make a pickle from a hundred years ago. He finds stale cucumbers in the trash. And then he found the slimy bottle in the recycling bin. He cut the cucumbers into strips and put them into the bottle separately. And adds a little bit of expired salted salt to the bottle. Herschel has done all the manual work and now waits for the roofless water to arrive. It's best to cook those luxury ingredients in the simplest manner. The handmade 100-year-old pickle is finished. He pushes his cart and sets up his stand. Because this pickle does not contain additives and has a unique taste, he quickly attracted a wave of customers. And that's how Herschel's roadside stand became a popular spot for internet celebrities. Herschel took the opportunity to mock his great-grandson on the internet. Ben was furious to see his arrogant grandfather. He even thought that his grandfather was trying to ruin his reputation by doing so. So Ben called the health department and filed a complaint against Herschel's pickle. Soon the law enforcement officers found Herschel and confiscated his stall. The process of making the pickle was made public. Customers were disgusted to find out what ingredients he was selling in his pickles and threw them away. When Herschel was at his wit's end, two of his regular customers gave him a tip and told him to pay attention to food hygiene. He could find some college students to work part-time and help him make and sell pickles. Herschel taught others how to make pickles himself. This time he was strict about the hygiene of the pickle making process. Soon, the first batch of old-fashioned pickle was made. This method really works. His pickles were once again a hit with customers. Herschel also made a lot of money. He immediately bought the land of his wife's cemetery. Finally the damn billboard was cut down and Ben looked at the ad on his computer and was stunned. The owner who was going to invest in him was going to switch to the Herschel pickle business. He was furious, but just then Herschel came to his house and came to show off that he had taken back the cemetery. Ben has a brilliant idea. He encouraged Herschel to start an online social network and post his opinions on social media. That way Herschel's business could grow and prosper. Herschel thought it was a good idea, so he asked his assistant to post a bunch of what he thought was a century-old opinion on the internet. But as soon as he posted those articles, there were many protests. Modern people can't accept the ideas of 100 years ago. Even his assistant defected on the spot, but his bold rhetoric also gained a large number of loyal fans. And so he was thrust into the limelight of the entertainment industry. The man was pickled in a pickle jar for 100 years. After awakening, he was pushed into the limelight by the media. To a secret pickle and bold words, he was invited to a TV interview, which won him applause. People even supported his election as president of the United States. But Herschel's great-grandson wasn't happy about it. He disguised himself as an audience member and asked Herschel extremely sensitive questions. And his answer did not disappoint his great-grandson because Herschel's views quickly angered everyone. He was hunted down by the entire country. 
Even the authorities wanted to expel him from the country. He was now wanted all over the country. He had to find his great grandson, Ben, and ask Ben to help him smuggle himself out of the country to live again somewhere else. And Ben's purpose has been achieved. So he immediately agreed to his request that two of them need to reach the border. On the way, Ben fell and was injured. Herschel quickly tore his clothes and bandaged his wound. It snowed at night. Great grandson was shivering in the cold. Herschel hugged him tightly to keep him warm. But it was this act that made Ben feel guilty. And Herschel took good care of him all the way. They finally reached the border after all the hardships. Ben couldn't stand the condemnation and confessed everything to Herschel. Herschel was so angry that he knocked his great grandson unconscious with a punch. As their noise attracted the border patrol, Herschel quickly took a razor from his bag and shaved off his beard and changed into Ben's clothes. He took his great grandson's passport to the patrol to confirm his identity. Ben, on the other hand, was not so lucky because he was taken away as Herschel. At night, Herschel returns to his great grandson's house and looks at the family photo album. Lost in thought, at that moment, a painting fell out of the album. Herschel picked up the painting and finally understood. It is not that Ben does not want to win the honor of the family but it has been proving himself in his own way. Meanwhile, Ben was sent back home. Soon Herschel found him. A family dispute will be settled overnight. The two of them decide to return to the big city and join forces to build a pickle kingdom. If you travel to 100 years later, what will you do to make a fortune?